Italy for three to five days every month, <laughs> they're going to be lolling them all over the place. I'm likely to faint if I don't see any blood. Because <laughs> that means a trip to the abortion. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Which is a complete pain in the arse if they get the wrong hole. <laughs> One more stamp on my loyalty card, <laughs> and I get a free set of coat hangers. <laughs> but uh, my doctor was actually really rude to me last time. He said, Why didn't you use a fucking condom? I said, I thought we were using a fucking condom. <laughs> what other kind of condoms are there? <laughs> Of course, you may have heard that uh, just last week, the Pope endorsed a new kind of condom called on a wing and a fucking prayer. <laughs> I mean, maybe the wing will work if it's a feather light. I don't know. <laughs> that reminds me, I was uh, having sex with my boyfriend. He said, shouldn't we be thinking about kids? I said, well, you can think about kids. I'm going to think about Johnny Depp. <laughs> uh, I was lying in bed with my boyfriend when I told him that I'd only slept with ten people before him. It was a big lie, but he believed it. <laughs> or so I thought, uh, until later that night when he told me to sleep tight. And I think he was talking directly to my vagina. Because <laughs> that guy stretches me to the limit. <laughs> so, uh, don't worry, I'm really joking. I'm just joking, I don't have a boyfriend. Or a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> when I uh, was a child, then my mother would punish me if I lied, or swore, or did sexual experiments on guinea pigs. <laughs> Obviously not a real guinea pig, because that would be perverted. And the guinea pig was the boy next door. <laughs> the experiment was showing him my family to see if he'd salivate. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't, but every time the doorbell rang, he got a boner. <laughs> My family actually wanted me to run away, but I was terrible at sports. <laughs> I did try to hopscotch away, but I just kept ending up back at square one. <clears throat> I was bullied as a child because of my hair. I got called pube head. <laughs> so I shaved off all my hair. I just left a little strip. It's called a Brazilian. <laughs> Thanks, mother. That's really kind of you. Actually, I uh, put a curse on my mother. I said, one day, you're going to grow old. It worked! <laughs> Obviously, the uh, saggy tits and a hairy chin, that was an added bonus. <laughs> and uh, everyone just wants to take a look. Hello, Mother. Thanks for coming. <laughs> but because I didn't get on with my family so well, then uh, I had to turn to the comic book character, Desperate Dan, because we share the same first name. Desperate. <laughs> you know, some people call me an atheist just because I don't believe in God and I think religion is ridiculous. That's so judgmental. Okay, I am an atheist. Some people believe that atheists don't have any morals, but personally, I would never sleep with a married man unless he paid me. <laughs> Eat cocaine. <laughs> atheists actually influence society in ways that you might not have noticed. Some of our sayings and aphorisms have come into everyday language. You might use things yourself. For instance, we have Jesus Christ! Because we bags need that now, that, that belongs to us. And uh, we've also got more philosophical sayings, such as uh, whoever smelt it 
dealt it. That's, that's one of ours. Yeah. As a vegetarian, I do have to fart quite a lot. But uh, because I'm moralistic, then uh, I just hold it in until I'm passing an ugly person. <laughs> Sorry about earlier, by the way. <laughs> you know, um, I love giving directions to tourists. On my way here, I passed two Americans, and I told them to get the fuck out of my way! I gave an Italian tourist directions. I said, you go that way, then that way, then that way, then that way, then up, and then you're there. I don't think he'd ever come across a clitoris before. <laughs> That's it for me, thanks. That's it for me, thanks. <laughs>